Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and my hat hair. Yes, I was just wearing a hat, so it's, it's all messed up. But more important, I got a stitch fix today. Let us see what's in it. I just found it. I didn't get it today. What am I saying? No, it's probably due back today. <laughs> I got it several days ago. This is what it looks like. Ooh, just feeling it. I feel lots of cotton. That's kind of cool. Instead of a bunch of polyester. Got my return envelope with their address and the postage already on it. I got a styling card with a message from the stylist that I'll read off camera. And it's suggestions on how to wear the pieces. And then the invoice. Let's see what that says. Okay. So my stylist, the five pieces that are sent to me, uh, he picks came to $256.91. If I bought all of them, I would get a 25% discount. So all five of these pieces would cost me $192.68. No shipping involved, no styling fee, because I have the yearly pass. So let me read this, and then we'll get into the bundle. Okay, nothing, you know, earth shattering to share. Okay, so let's get into the bundle. up is sort of a tie-dye looking yeah and it's a heavier warmer oh it's bigger and it's got uh, cuffed sleeves and a kind of a cuffed bottom but it's not going to be tight because it has a slit looks a little bit oversized I think that's what she was talking about in her note this is for by Gly something I'll find it on there yeah it's got uh, peach and browns in it and it's a little warm for Florida, but right now it's been a little chilly in Florida. I was dressing like this this morning, but by, you know, noon, one o'clock, you're hot. Okay, it's by Glider. It's the Joanna Slits <laughs> Side Slip Top in pink, 2X72. Okay, it says pink. It looks peach to me. I don't know. But yeah, I kind of like it. It is heavy. I mean, holding it up, I can feel the weight of it, so... There's that. All right, so next by uh, Mason and Bell. And this is a cottony, uh, this is gauzy here. The sleeves are gauzy. The front part is like a, a cottony. This is something that I would, you know, you wouldn't want to put in the dryer. I kind of like it, but I'm worried that it might give off seeing too many senior vibes. I don't know. And it's got that big square neck so we'll see how far down the back that goes because I'm not fond of that when that goes back too far. Um, it is called the Mason and Bell Darby Mixed Media Blouse in Navy 2X $30.97. So not a bad price. It's got some, um, I don't know what this is called, but I don't know, I'll call it lace work where like it's not solid fabric. It's got, I don't know if you can see, see that got that down the sides and around the neck too. So it's got a lot going on. <laughs> All right, so next is also by Mason and Bell, and it is a pink. Okay, so this is a knit type fabric here. Kind of like the first one was kind of sweatery, sweatshirty. This is like t-shirty. This looks big. <laughs> this is not my favorite color of pink. This is a little dusty, but it also has a little bit of a worn look. To it. I do like the style with the this on here, this embroidery. That's cute. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not big on the dusty roses and the mauves. Um, it is called a Lauren, it's Mason and Bell, uh, a Leuven short sleeve knit top, dark pink 2X, $27.97. So the price is really good. Yeah, I bet it's super comfy. <laughs> All right, so next is, the next two items are the same fabric, <laughs> I'll just tell you. And I picked them from the preview. I believe I picked both of them. Yeah, I did. All right, so the first one is a dress with an elastic waist. And then the top is a V-neck with some little buttons. And it is like a seersucker. Well, it's not like a seersucker, it is a seersucker. And the colors, here to be blue and gray, I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Sleeveless, seriously, okay. Um, I think this is, I can't tell these two apart. Let me see if the style card helps me. 
sleeveless smocked waist seersucker dress and sleeveless seersucker mask. Okay. All right, so this is it. Market and Spruce sleeveless smock waist in blue. Okay, I think it's two shades of blue, really. Size 2X, $47.97. So this is nice and cool-like. Yeah, this will be a great cruise dress. Because even if seersucker, I know it's cotton, but even if it gets wrinkled, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> All right, and the last one, same fabric, but a different style of dress. And I'm not sure if I'll like this one as much, but I thought, you know what? I want to try seersucker, so I'm going to get both of those dresses. Okay, so it is a maxi dress. I believe it's maxi. It's got a ruffly edge around the bottom. Uh, you can't really see it there. It's not real full ruffle kind of thing. And uh, it's got elastic in the back. Uh, you'd have to wear a strapless bra with it. I couldn't think of the word of it for a moment. All right, so it is the Market and Spruce Sleeveless Seersucker Maxi Light Blue 2X. This one's $78. So this is the most expensive. The uh, first item, the heavy sweater, 72 is the second most. So anyway, those are the items. I'm going to try and get those tried on tonight. See you in just a second for you. <laughs> Okay, first item is the dress, of course, because <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure the fit is quite right. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too weird. When I first started to put it on, I go, this might be too small. And it's definitely, you know, the elastic definitely uh, isn't loose or anything. And I thought, is it too small? But then I look at other parts of it, and I think the back, too, I'm not sure, but I kind of think, is it too loose in some areas? Is it just because I'm short-waisted? And should this be like up here or should this be down here? <laughs> Probably down here. It does kind of show a little bit right here, but it's who I am. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so I do like it. doesn't have pockets. It seems like it would. It's very comfy, light, breezy, but not flowy. So like I could wear this in the Southern Caribbean, like uh, um, Curacao especially, but Aruba, I think Bonaire too might. They're very, um, when I go there, those places on cruises, they're very windy. If you wear a, a really full skirt, it's over your head. So yeah, let's go try on the other one. Okay, same brand, same fabric. This one does have pockets and it is a maxi dress. It's, oh, I'm sorry, the chair's in the way. Didn't even realize that. I usually don't put it over there, that's why. You can hear my feet scraping on the jute rug. Yeah, um, she looks a little here like the other one did. These are, I figured, I don't think these are too small. I think what it is is that they are not a um, flowy fit. You know, they're more of a fit like a straight sizes as opposed to a lot of times um, plus sizes will have a little give here or here or here, you know. But yeah, I do like it. I don't think that I would get both of them. You know, it's a lot of times these dresses that I have problems because of the this being the wrong length and stuff because I'm short-waisted. But this one seems to be just hitting in just the right places. And the fit seems good around here. It's definitely, I would say these definitely run more on the little tiny bit smaller side because I think they still have me down. Yeah, these are still two X's. And see, I'm at a point now where I can, well, I guess I'm still mostly two X, but I'm more 18, I think, than 20. So, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a hard decision. Do I, because uh, I can't see myself keeping two of them, but who knows? I don't think that a casual maxi like this, a super casual maxi is as useful as the shorter dress would be, you know, that I could wear it to as many places, but I don't know, we'll see. It's, uh, it's just a little bit of clearance showing, not much, so it's definitely okay. All right, let's try some other stuff. So I brought hangers for the next part. <laughs> All right, so this is the pink blouse, the they call it dark pink blouse, and so you can get a little better look at the design here. And it does have a big neck here. And in the back, the back has elastic all around it because I pulled up to see, 
if this was taken up, if that would help. It definitely would help the front. That's a little bit nicer height than that. <laughs> see the, can you see the difference in that? How like that is a bit more flattering. The portion is more right. Um, but anyway, it is a little bit big. I think that's part of it too. But um, you can't really take it up there like that. But more than anything, even just walking here, this is falling off the shoulders. I guess you, this one I could wear it as an off-the-shoulder, although I don't think that's what it's meant to be because it doesn't say that anywhere that I saw, at least not in the description, right? <laughs> no, it just says short sleeve in the top. Very comfy, and I think it's very cute. Got lots of pleating here. I really do like it, and I think if it was a size larger, uh, yeah, I might go for it even though it's not my favorite color, pink. But it's a fall pink is what I think of it as. So anyway, let's try another one. Okay, next one. Similar fit, but I think this one's just a little bit smaller. So it does have the same neckline. It's okay where it falls, I think. Uh, and it does go down in the back, not quite as far, because it's just not as big. I think it's just, um, they're both the same size, but I think this one just feels like it's a cut a little bit smaller. This fabric right here is stretchy on the side and then cotton in the middle and then like a gauzy cotton on the sleeves. This is the print here and then the bigger print with the kind of the same colors here and then just a blue and white here. I kind of like this one. I think it looks really cute with these white shorts actually. <laughs> yeah, I do like it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it is it's a fabric, at least the sleeves are, that even when you wash it, it's going to crinkle up and probably have to iron it back to size. But yeah, it's uh, definitely not too tight. I mean, I didn't check the, you know, the back of it. Oh, that sundress that I tried on, I call it sundress, the maxi dress. When I went in the bathroom and I looked in the back, I could see that, like, it digs in. It, it is too small, really, and around the busty area. Yeah, I like this one. All right, last one is the sweater. I've been delaying trying that on because I'm hot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with the sleeves. Okay, they're super long because they are these kind of sleeves where you can put your finger in the thing. To ignore my nails. I've been waiting and waiting to get a manicure to just before we leave. <laughs> We're going on a cruise. Or you can, you know, use the cuff and fold it up, which I kind of like, actually. I find these to get a little uncomfortable. When I first start out, I kind of like them. Keep your hands warm, but... Eventually they bother me. Yeah, this is really nice. It's super soft. It is so soft. Yeah, I would never wear it with white shorts. <laughs> I think the fit on the derriere is pretty good because sometimes, you know, something can be pretty tight back there on me. And I think this is nice. Yeah, I do like this. Super soft, warm, but not real heavy. You know, not like, it's like a little lighter than a sweatshirt, a good sweatshirt, I mean. But yet it's more knitty, like a sweater is between a sweater and a sweatshirt. Yeah, I do like it. I don't need a lot of clothes like this, but this one I do like. I think it'd be cute with jeans. Yeah. And it's nice that it's a little different color, too. Ugh. Such a dilemma. <laughs> All right, I will be back with my hangers and with the bag and see what's going to stay and what's going to go in the back. Okay, I'm back after a hot try on. I think I always say that. First item up, I'm going to get my little thing here to remind me what's what. First item up is this Mason and Bell Navy Darby Mixed Material Blouse and it is $30.97 and it does have the big cut up here but it seemed to be better than the other one and uh, I don't know, I just it felt really good in it. I liked it. It didn't look to me matronly at all, but you can comment below if you think it was. But it didn't look that way to me either. With the white shorts, to me, it looked really fresh. So I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it on the hanger. <laughs> Item number one on the hanger. Yeah, I think I can get a lot of use out of that. If I decide that it hangs down too low, and what did I do? I just took it off the hanger. I need to leave it on the hanger. Um, if it hangs down too low, if I feel sloppy in it, then I'll just wear it, you know, basically at home. Because <laughs> there's plenty of days where I really don't go too far. All right, so next is similar. 
and actually a very cute style and a very usable wearable fabric this knit um, yeah I really like this but I think it's too big yeah the, I think I would have to size down to wear this but that's okay they're similar enough to where I don't have to have both of them <laughs> and this one was the $27.97 so it was three dollars less but it is going to be the first item in the back all right so next is which dress is this the maxi yes the maxi with the v-neck and the back part um i mentioned i think in the try on somewhere that i was doing that i took a look at this in my bathroom mirror and i think that it might be a little tight around the bust area where it shows where your bra is and everything in the back so yeah i don't think i want both fabrics anyway but i think that this one might be just a little tight the other one too but it doesn't look the same way this one does but yeah, I think this, if you're interested in this, um, well, these are market and spruce, aren't they? If you're interested in this, I think it runs a little small. So in the bag it goes, because that's a 2X. And then the next one is this dress. This one here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I really like it. And I took a good look at it. It doesn't look that I could see too tight anywhere. If it was, I just wasn't seeing it. I don't have a great way to see the back of my stuff other than when I play the videos back. And sometimes I have actually, when I'm doing my editing and I see something that I was going to keep, have sent it back, even after I told you that I was keeping it. Because when I got a good look at it on the video, I said, uh oh. -uh. <laughs> so anyway, another one on the hanger number two. <laughs> And the last item <laughs> fell off the hanger. Um, the last item is the sweater, sweatshirt kind of thing. Oh, it's so soft. I'm telling you, this feels so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going back and forth on this. That's why it's at the bottom. I wasn't sure. It's $72, which is a big investment if I'm not going to wear it a lot. But, you know, I got up this morning, I don't remember what time I got up, it was a little before 8, I think, and um, had a rough night, and uh, went out, watered plants, put out bird feeders, made coffee, yada yada, and about, I realized with doors opening and stuff, it's kind of chilly out there, so I looked, it was 58 degrees, and that was at like 840, so we have been having colder temperatures, and it's early, we had some couple days I think last week where we had a little bit cooler temperature so I don't know if that's an indication we're going to have you know kind of a cold wintery usually our coldest time is more like February or January but yeah it was kind of surprising and then we are going to visit family on both ends of a cruise that we're taking and I don't think their weather is predicted to be really warm either. So I think I'm going to keep this in terms of traveling, although we have a lot of Caribbean cruises this winter, so I might be making a mistake. But <laughs> it is very nice. And I have kept some other things in the past that I just realized I'm not going to wear that I'm probably going to get rid of and make room for things that are a little more wearable. This would have been great for the Alaska cruise. Yeah. It's nice. And it doesn't have a hood, which is nice because then if you're going to have a jacket too. I really like it. I think it's very nice quality and worth the $78. So that's it. I'm keeping three. I think that hasn't happened in a while. I'm sending back two. I don't feel too bad because the two I'm sending back are kind of like duplicates of two that I kept. So both of them, I'm not sure I would have kept, you know, both of them if they were a good fit anyway. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, excuse my hat hair. It was, it was a Pokemon day today. <laughs> Yeah, went on the Pokemon bus with my other Pokemon friends. So. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Have a great morning, noon, night, whatever it is when you watch the video. Bye, y'all.